We wanted to share a quick update on the Progressive Light Mapper that is currently in closed alpha testing. For the uninitiated, the Progressive Light Mapper is a new path tracing based solution we are working on adding to Unity for baked lighting. Unity today uses Enlighten as its solution for baked and real time pre computed lighting. As Enlighten does not suit every use case for baked lighting, we wanted to create a solution that not only gives great results for baked lights, but also offers lighting artists the ability to iterate quickly and predictably. We are getting positive feedback on the alpha build that we've put together thus far, so let's take a quick look at what working with the progressive light mapper actually looks like. To kick off the lighting workflow, I'll jump over to the lighting window and choose the progressive light mapper as my lighting solution for baked GI and ensure that I'm in auto mode. The lights in my scene have been set to baked mode and my ambient GI is also going to be baked because I'm only using baked GI in this example. Now what you'll notice as I move around the scene view is that my lighting bake begins to resolve in the scene. You can see the path tracer doing its thing. So our progressive light mapper can either bake your entire scene as usual or can use the prioritize view setting. This feature gives you the ability to get a quick idea of what your latest lighting changes will look like in whatever part of the scene you're focused on. You can see as I navigate around the scene, lighting resolves, focusing on providing a preview as quickly as possible. Then once this completes, it continues to bake the rest of the level outside of the current view. And if I adjust my lighting, you can see that we get an update immediately, giving a quick preview of what the change looks like before it resolves in more detail. I can even try a different lighting treatment and check that out with a quick preview. I'll take out my directional sunlight, change my ambient lighting, and switch on some scene lights that I prepared earlier. Now let's try adding a couple more and as you can see, I quickly get a preview of what I'm doing as I work on it. Let's switch back to our daytime lighting treatment and quickly we can get back the result that we had before. It's worth noting here that if I choose to include ambient occlusion in the bake, I can even test out different looks during the baking process. Another great thing about the progressive light mapper is that we have far more predictable bake times. And as such, we are able to provide an ETA within the lighting progress bar in the lower right of the screen. As your bake resolves, you're likely to want to prioritize some of the objects in your scene. For example, with this tower, I would want to increase the scale, so I select the renderer and then increase its scale in light map. This allows you to set a baseline resolution for everything and then fine tune certain objects that need more detailed lighting. The progressive light mapper reevaluates its lighting to account for the change. One more useful feature we've included is the ability to force stop the bake and maintain your light map data at this point in time if you are happy with the results. This can be done if you're baking manually outside of auto mode and it means that you can pick up and put down light map baking without having to start from scratch within a single Unity session. We believe that the progressive light mapper brings more power and flexibility to working on lighting. We plan to ship one further closed alpha build of this progressive light mapper before going public with an experimental build later this year. So stay tuned to the forum, blog and our social channels with news of this as it ships. Thanks for watching.